What up everyone? Welcome back to More Salt. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your own homemade vegan coffee creamer. Not only that, I'm showing you three different variations and flavors that you can try. This recipe is crazy easy to make and it'll only take about five minutes. So let's get started. You're gonna use the same base for all three variations of this creamer. And for that, you're gonna need half a cup of soaked cashews, one and a half cups of water, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a pinch of salt. You're gonna blend everything together until it is completely smooth and there's no grittiness from the cashews. So our first flavor of vegan coffee creamer is gonna be a maple almond. This one is simple, light, and classic. All you're gonna need for this is three to four tablespoons of pure maple syrup, depending on how sweet you want it, and one teaspoon of almond extract. I'm putting my coffee creamer in a mason jar, and to mix it all together, you can either stir it with a spoon or do like I did in this video and put the top on it and shake it until combined. The next flavor I'm showing you how to make is pumpkin spice. All you need for this is one tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. If you need a recipe for your own homemade pumpkin pie spice, I posted one in my last recipe video where I showed you how to make pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls. So check that out by clicking this link up here or the link will be down in the description box as well. After the pumpkin pie spice, you're gonna add in three to four tablespoons of maple syrup. And then shake it until combined. The last flavor I'm showing you how to make is salted caramel. Oh. You could do this to any of the creamers, but especially this one, I could literally just drink it with a straw. It's so good. So for this one, you're gonna need six pitted medjool dates. You're gonna soak them in a third of a cup of warm water so that they soften up really nicely. After the dates have been soaking for about five to 10 minutes, you can add them to a food processor along with half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and a pinch of salt. You're gonna blend this till it's nice and smooth or as smooth as you can get it. And then you're gonna add in a couple more tablespoons of water. Then add your caramel sauce to the creamer base, blend together in a high speed blender until smooth, and then store in an airtight mason jar. And the only reason I didn't have you dump everything in the Vitamix and just blend it together is so you can control the amount of sweetness and caramelliness that you want in your coffee creamer. Some people don't like the sweetness as much and some people love it. If you love sweetness and you want more of that, in your salted caramel creamer, go ahead and just add everything to the Vitamix and just skip the food processor part. Just as an FYI, all of these creamers last in your refrigerator for about a week. Now, if you are not a huge coffee drinker or a coffee connoisseur, here are a few keys to making amazing coffee at home. Number one, you want to grind your coffee beans fresh before you brew them. You don't wanna get pre-ground coffee. It's not as flavorful, it doesn't last as long. It's just so much better to grind it right before you brew it. You can get a coffee grinder for this or you could even put it in a blender or a food processor. I put it in my food processor because I don't want the coffee grinds to get too finely ground. You will see why in a second. The reason I don't want them to get really finely ground is because I use a French press to make my coffee. Another great way to make coffee is using a pour over Chemex thingy. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Chemex, Chemex. You guys know what I'm talking about. I've used a French press for years and I love it. It is a great way to get freshly brewed coffee. So I just add my coffee grounds to the bottom of the French press and then pour over boiling water, stir it around a couple of times and let it steep for about 10 to 15 minutes. After it's done steeping, you just have to press and pour. Pour in your creamer of choice and you are ready to take on the day, my friend. I hope you all enjoyed all of these vegan creamer variations. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you wanna try first. 
Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, share it with all your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little red subscribe button down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care of yourself, eat good food. Peace, guys. Bummed me out. It still kind of bums me out, you know, when you go to parties or get-togethers or whatever, you go out to eat and you kind of feel like you're missing out. You get a little FOMO, a little food FOMO, because food is such a huge part of our lives, especially our social lives.